Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today we've got another supermarket beer and it's from a brewery that I've heard a lot about and um, I know you can get a few of their beers in some of the supermarkets which is absolutely awesome. So we're going over to the Victory Brewery and we are looking at a can of the Headwaters Ale which is a refreshing boldly hopped ale. So it's hard to read the writing on this one, but I think it's pretty much just a, a session ale, pale ale, maybe. I'm not too sure. Comes in a 12 fluid ounce can, clocking in at 5.2%. And uh, yeah, from PA. So big shout out to uh, my <sighs> not abominable snowman, to my Yeti brother, Paul, from PA Brew News. Who I know he's reviewed uh, quite a lot of the victory beers. I've probably completely misremembered that, but um, yeah, this was uh, I was in Asda today, and the specific Asda I went to had this, the just like a regular IPA, I think, and then the um, the Pilsner that they do, but you could only buy that in like the the six packs, and I was like, I don't really want to buy a six pack of the same beer. Uh, when I'm trying it for the first time. So I was just like, yeah, I'll pick this up and maybe pick up another couple of beers because as we're doing like a four for six pound and you could do that with the craft beers and then some of the real ale beers. So as a reviewer, that's like for six quid, that's four reviews that I've got. So um, and hopefully the beers that you buy, you enjoy and then you can buy them again next time you take part of the deal. Um, I was in actually having a conversation about uh, supermarket beers with um, I do apologise but I forget his name and he's such a lovely guy from the Northern Beer Temple in Wigan and we were talking about like the uh, the pros and cons of supermarket beer pros are you get quite a lot of range now in fact an obscene amount of range but the, the cons are uh, breweries might want to start cutting corners or shaving off costs by altering recipes using slightly less uh, quality ingredients that sort of thing and also the freshness factor uh, with the supermarkets is a big thing so as a reviewer solely from a reviewing point it's it's great for me because when we're doing food shopping I know that I can have four new beers or five new beers whatever the deal is in whatever supermarket you go to and I've got four different experiences and four reviews that I can upload um, and as a consumer it's good and also getting into craft beer it's good as well because you've got such a massive range we're so lucky here in the UK now um, just from supermarkets alone but uh, yeah Victory Headwaters Ale so let's see what we get with this one. Already poured it, and the beer poured very slightly hazy, but it's got like a nice coppery amber colour to it. Nice small tornado of uh, carbonation there, not too aggressively carbonated, and there's just a, a lining of head there. But uh, yeah, that's got a little bit of a haze in there, but no particulates to speak of. So let's see what we get in the aroma. That is a very floral smelling beer. A little bit sweet as well. Very slight gentle citrusy character, almost has like a powderiness to it. Yeah, it's a it's a pleasant smelling beer. Not terribly exciting, but you do get those hops in there. But yeah, it smells nice. It's got a sort of like a summery vibe to it. It's nice and gentle. So uh, let's see what we get in the flavour. Cheers. If I'm stuttering a little bit, um, I've been to the, to the father's today. And uh, he got me a nice four pack of um, Elvis juice, which I uh, more than happily consumed. So... Um, yeah, I think a, a session beer's in call right now because I'm due to be going on a hangout with Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews. So anyway, 
you didn't want to know that. I didn't need to tell you that. It's so pointless. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. That is really nice. And not what I was expecting it to be, to be honest. I don't think I've had a, a hop profile like that for quite a while. So it's actually somewhat new to me. Lovely medium mouthfeel to it. That carbonation is really nice and gentle. Just helps the, um, the beer go around your palate. Lovely bitterness there. But yeah, it's like, it's hoppy, but it's not fruity, if that makes sense. Slight resiny tones. There may be a hint of a grapefruit-like bitterness on the back end. It's got that sort of like a mineral edge to it. I don't know. I don't know what sort of style I would uh, describe this as, because it's not really, to me anyway, drinking like a pale ale or an IPA. Should have probably looked it up before I went into it, but I do like to surprise myself with these beers. But, perved right into a glass, how nasty is that? It's a sessionable, hoppy, and drinkable beer. And it reminds me of the beers that I was drinking when I was getting into craft beer. That sort of thing. Don't know why, just really experimental. It's like with some of the Brooklyn beers. It just takes me back to when I was you know, just about to dip my toe into the world of craft beer. There's a nice citrusy edge coming through now, but more almost like a lemongrass sort of citrusy character. That is really nice, actually, uh, but I can't really pinpoint uh, too many specific flavours on it. it it's, a, it's an intriguing one. But it's a nice one as well. So, uh, Victory is Headwaters Ale. I'm going to give that a very solid 7 out of 10. Would I try it again? Uh, probably, yeah, after I've gone through the rest of what's available, of course. But, um, yeah, a couple of cans of this. Perfect hangout beer. Um, or just perfect chilling beer. One of those beers that you just buy, like, a six-pack of and you put it in the fridge and you just take one out when you fancy a beer. Don't really want to sit in front of the camera and contemplate the flavours. You just want to sit back and enjoy it. Get a nice flavour profile. And, uh, yeah, I think it's great that beers like this are in supermarkets. So, um, yeah, cost me less than £2 a can as well. So I'm not going to complain about that. So, uh, yeah, 7 out of 10 if you've tried it. Let me know your thoughts opinions down below. What are some of your favourite Victory uh, beers? And uh, yeah, check out Paul from PA Brew News. And if any of my friends have reviewed this beer, then of course their reviews are included down below also. So uh, yeah, check out Victory Brewing. Uh, check out my whatever style I discover this beer is playlist down below. And uh, more importantly, I hope you'll join me next time for another beer review. So thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.